Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about a new project out of Meta, the company behind Facebook, called Segment Anything. And what Segment Anything promises to do is take any image and parse apart all of the different elements within that image and to be able to identify them. This has already been done by highly fine-tuned or highly verticalized models in the past, but what Segment Anything promises is to be really generalized and to take any image. So let's get into it. So this is a web page for Segment Anything. It's on Facebook's website. I'll drop the link in the description below. And here we go. It says, introducing Segment Anything, working toward the first foundation model for image segmentation. And so you can see an example of what it's doing here. So here's an underwater image and it's actually segmenting all of the different elements, regardless of what they are. And here's one of a bunch of penguins. Here's a little kitchen and you can see all the knives are segmented. And so how can this be used? Well, the obvious one is image editing. So if you have an image and you wanna take out somebody in the background, you can easily do that with one click. Or if you wanna identify things in an image, that's also something you can do. So let's read a little bit about what they say. Segmentation, basically identifying which image pixel belongs to which object in an image is a core task in computer vision and is used in a broad array of applications. From analyzing scientific imagery, so an example of that would be looking for cancers in an MRI, to editing photos, but creating an accurate segmentation model for specific tasks typically requires highly specialized work by technical experts with access to AI training infrastructure and large volumes of carefully annotated in-domain data. They're saying that it takes an incredible amount of expertise, data, and money to actually be able to train models to do identification within images. And what Segment Anything is, is democratizing that. Basically, any image any object within that image can be segmented and identified. One thing that I was really surprised at is the fact that Meta, again, the company behind Facebook, not only released the research paper, but actually released the training data. So if you wanted to, you could download the training data and train your own segment anything model. Now, they didn't provide a GitHub and instructions on how to do that, but the fact that they actually released the training set is commendable in itself. And so here it says, our Segment Anything 1 billion mask data set, the largest ever segmentation data set has been released. And it enables a broad set of applications to foster further research into foundation models for computer vision. Now that's another thing. As you can imagine, multimodal support for artificial intelligence is incredibly important for reaching artificial general intelligence. And to be able to give computers vision, to be able to give artificial intelligence vision, they need to be able to take in the world and identify what is going on in that scene. So here's an example. This is a video and it's actually, as a person's going through the world, it's identifying whatever that person is looking at, gaze position. So stack of books, suitcase, stack of books, hand, dryer, and on and on. You can see this again by just going to the link. I'll drop it down in the description below. So let's look at this demo. We have a box of vegetables and the user is actually able to click on any vegetable, highlight different vegetables and know what they are. Sam allows users to segment objects with just one click or by interactively clicking points to include and exclude from the object. The model can also be prompted with a bounding box. Sam can output multiple valid masks that's parts of the image, when faced with ambiguity about the object being segmented, an important and necessary capability for solving segmentation in the real world. Sam can automatically find and mask all objects in an image, and Sam can generate segmentation mask for any prompt in real time after pre-computing the image embedding, allowing for real-time interaction with the model. So here they show a couple graphs of how rich that data set really is. So the SA1B data set, which is the data set that Sam is based on, is six times larger in terms of images than Open Images V5. And for the mass, it's 400 times larger. And again, a mask is a single part of the image. And so here's the research paper. I'll drop the link in the description below. They explain how they actually went about achieving uh, segment anything. And I wanna show off one cool graph right here. 
So I'm zooming in and look how complex some of these images are. Here's an image from what looks like Japan, hundreds of people, buildings, signs, and they were able to segment all of those. Here's a few boxes of fruit and each individual fruit has been able to be segmented. Here's what looks like a microscopic image of cells possibly and every single thing in this picture has been segmented. Very, very cool. I invite you to please check out the research paper. It is interesting. And next I mentioned they actually released the data set. So if you come to this ai.facebook.com slash datasets slash segment dash anything, you can actually download the data set right here. And last, let's test it out. So they actually have a demo page and it's segment dash anything.com slash demo. So let's choose an image. I like this one of buildings and the bridge. So here we go. If we just hover over, as we're hovering, it has segmented out whatever we're hovering on. So even here, some of these shadows in the building, the entire building, parts of this bridge, the boat, each individual person. And on the left side here, what you can do is you can add mass and remove area. So if I click it, it is now adding that mask and I can go ahead and click other buildings to add to this mask. And so it's just increasing the amount of mass in my selection. Now, if you click this everything button, it's gonna process for a moment and it's actually gonna output masks for every single object in this image. And you can cut out all the objects, which means you're actually gonna get each individual mask for this image. So as I scroll down, you can see all of the different masks have been removed and isolated from this image. And you can actually drag and select a bunch of different objects from the image. So I've highlighted a section and it's selected the sky. And so you can also upload your own images. Let's give that a try. And here it is. Within seconds, we have a fully segmentable image. And so let's cut out everything and there we go. All of the flowers have been segmented. The sky has been segmented. This section has been segmented. And so that's it. Feel free to test it out. I'll drop all the links in the description below. Drop a comment below if you think of any really cool use cases for segment anything. Photo editing comes to mind. AI vision comes to mind. But I think there's gonna be a lot of possibilities that I'm not thinking of. So please let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.